We're live. Hi. Welcome one and all to the Friday the 13th edition of the Daily Direct brought to you by Switch Force, sponsored by okay. Zach and Gabe. Tonight well we talk all about the greatest and latest from your favorite platform, including news that Nintendo is working on new hardware, including rumors that Pokemon Switch is currently being localized. There are people typing out a wild Pokemon appeared in English right now, and Gabe has been playing a cool new indie, and there is apparently a Sega announcement happening any second, and your question. So thanks for being here. Another wondrous week in the world of Switch. I just got an email that's blowing my mind, Gabe. Uh, it's about what we were. I was waiting for all day. Um, the, the, the email we were literally just talking about it just happened right yeah okay cool anyways um welcome one and all thanks for being here um i just had spaghetti <laughs> hey what'd you have for dinner i, I, I had the taco remember that's I, right How a taco, taco that i waited for all day to have it was amazing as always have like, you ever have you ever waited for something for like what's the longest you've waited for something like something that like tangible i'm not saying like oh you waited for love or, oh, you waited for, like, a friend. Love. But, like, what's the longest you've waited for something? I feel like the Switch is a long wait. Yeah, I, I wait for you a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I, wait, I wait for you a lot. Oh, what a man. weirdo. Um, guys, and I'm what looking down because I'm looking at my phone for the Sega thing. As soon as you guys see what it is, like, let us know. Yeah, um, I'm, not really, I'm, I'm not really sure what it is. I'm going to um, pull up the chat. I don't have the chat pulled up. We tried to start on time today, and that was just weird for me. Normally, it takes me, like couple minutes just to get all locked and loaded yeah um guys i am doing my best to push him more and more to being on time every single we're, time. we're inching closer and closer oh look uh familiar face tom green we see sam we see robert tom smith green? hey man i i love seeing familiar faces we see ouija here of course ouija he he, he, the, he the man uh we see alexis we see thunder reloader i wish that was my name thunder reloader thunder reloader yeah you want to reload the thunder I basically reload you are the god of war yeah, uh, yeah. Gabe wraps like 10 different teams. No, I don't. It's just a hat, man. Um, you guys got to start learning that about me. These are just hats. The only I, – I rep one team. That's that's Green Bay. I like other players. I don't like other teams, contrary to what Zach thinks. I like Green Bay. I don't like any other team. I like the All Knicks. Right. Don't like any other team. I like the Yankees. Don't like any other team. You just wear a lot of their hats. Yeah, because I don't want to wear the exact same hat every day. You need to be – Gabe, there's a Rich Brian song. I know you don't like him. Mm -hmm. um, uh, he says, I don't wear a lot of hats, but you do wear a lot of hats. So I feel like you guys could have like a rap battle or something. I, I, I would, I would eat them up. He doesn't wear a lot of hats. Mm. Um, thanks for reminding the discord Hades. We appreciate that. That's very nice of you. Yeah. Uh, uh, seriously. What's Ooh, with happy Sega early thing? birthday to faith Bullock. Um, is this Sega thing happening before we actually get into our, our planned content here? Um, and, and being guy, just in, you know, you're saying how long is this going to be? This usually goes around 45 minutes to an hour. It doesn't go much longer than that. It's longer than your average direct. <laughs> <laughs> Bars. Uh, it's supposed to be right now. Yeah, I mean, again, I, I'm sure someone will fill us in here uh, in a little bit. But, I don't know, do you want to maybe get started with, with, with the game I've been playing? Yeah, they're... There, the the guy's talking completely in Japanese, and there's no translation on screen. So as of right now, it's completely <laughs> we're completely dark. Let's talk about um, the first topic of the dang game mm -hmm. that you have brought to my attention because I wasn't even aware. Nintendo was at the BAFTAs. Uh, it's an award show. They were pulling quite a few little awards or big awards, I guess. I don't know. Medium, just just the right size awards. Yeah. Um, and they made some statements here mm -hmm. um, that I thought were pretty interesting. Um, the comment that specifically was polled um, was from uh, Shinya Takahashi, who said that they are already uh, working on their next piece of hardware. Now, that's – it sounds, I think, far worse than it is. I don't think anyone worse? should be, like – Worse? Hmm? Well, I'm just saying from the standpoint of people are very con concerned when, when there have been some like rumors or potential like, oh, a Switch iteration or a Switch XL or a new whatever, that causes a lot of like uneasy feelings. But this, I don't think you really need to worry about because this is more just like the, hey, we have R&D budgets, they're being spent, 
We have a lot of employees. <laughs> They're being put to work. We have a lot of investors. We're filling out the checklist for the you know yeah. the, the years and the decades and, the, and you know yeah. Well, I, I I guess it's easy to get excited, right? A new console is something that is always exciting, <laughs> even though this console only been out for about a year. Yeah. But yeah, I, I guess the main takeaway is that this isn't this isn't sh- that abnormal. Um, as soon as they launch a platform, whether it be PlayStation, Xbox, whatever, like R and D is always looking out for the next thing. That's just kind of how these companies work. I, I do wonder what was a mix up in a translation. Um, I I don't think we get a, a new like a Switch two or something like within the next like four years. I don't. Oh, think absolutely not. Yeah. To me, it's a it's like a non news, um, a non story. The only spin that I could see it being a, a thing. Is if he was referencing a dedicated handheld. Yeah, and that's what Graham uh, just said. Uh, I think it's a 3DS successor. Now that I could see. But... I do think that they still want to have something that sits in that, you know, 150 to $200 price range. The Switch is not going to get there for a long time, if ever. Um, they seem content with their 2DS XL right now, but you, you, you think, like, eventually that's going to get replaced. And, and it, is a, it is a weird thing because it's like we talk about how the 3DS, we're like, okay, why doesn't it just, you know, end so that they can move all development to the Switch? It's weird to think that that ending may not lead to, oh, a, a Switch exclusive Nintendo, but rather another handheld. Yeah, but I, I, I don't see the point, honestly. Like, other than, like, hey, price, right? But then it's price, it's, it's offering another entry point. And yeah, but then sell the Switch without the dock. Why, That's why not? Way worse. Why not? Like, why? Why not have the unified platform? That I makes no they, sense. I think they like having, you know. I think they like having two. Yeah, but, but at, at the end of the day, I, I don't think he was like trying to hit like, ooh, E three twenty eighteen, new console. No, new no, 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 no. I don't think, I don't think anyone believes that. But and right. yeah, and as we we said, like, hey, like, R and D takes time. They got to figure out what the next thing is. And of course, they're working on the next thing. They always are working on the next thing. Uh, that should go without yeah. saying. Uh, these companies are all like the PS5 is like probably like already like a tangible thing inside of Sony. And I wouldn't be surprised if they already have like the back of their mind like, hey, PS6. Sure. Yeah. Fair enough. I, it's weird that it was said publicly, but all right. Um, let's talk what I wanted to talk about next. Um, which is that, and it's always tough, guys. When when rumors like this come up, it, it's hard to know like how much validity do you give them. We obviously know the up and down nature of some of these leakers <laughs> on Twitter. I'm not even gonna go through. You know, there's there's definitely like things that come very true, things that do not come true, things that are very like coincidental, things that get deleted. But this past week, Pixelpar, who has had a pretty good record. Twitter.com slash Pixelpar was talking Pokemon Switch. And the tweets that we're referencing say, um, it's a bit late, but I'm happy to finally confirm that Pokemon Switch was slash is undergoing localization. The previous job lessons I mentioned were almost certainly for it. I can't provide evidence without throwing people under the bus. So you'll just have to trust me on this one. The first half is exciting. The second half is why we don't make dedicated videos on these sometimes. Without evidence, it, it's, it's hard to just trust a Twitter user, right? But then he follows it up just to, just to get this all, all the information out there, Gabe. Mm-hmm. He followed it up today uh, by saying, for anyone wondering, Pokemon Switch materials have been undergoing localization since late February and possibly earlier. I've already had confirmation that it's targeting a 2018 release. Educated guess based on previous Pokemon localization timings is that it should be ready for November slash December. Year. Any takeaways there? No. Is it, it, is it bad for me to say I don't? I don't I don't want to say I don't care because I care about Pokemon Switch. Like I don't care about anything a leaker has to say right now about Pokemon. Like E3 is very close. Oh, sure. <laughs> Pokemon might not even get talked about at E3 because historically oh, it, it doesn't. I I I think we are getting to a point where we're fooling ourselves that we don't think that this is most likely happening this year. Why? Because Pixel Par says it? Like I no, mean and, and not not to, listings. not to we discredit seen... Pixel Par. Like I I don't I have no like Ill will towards any leaker, contrary to what people may think. Like, whatever, y'all do you. It's just... And, and we've touched on, on this, like, off-camera. Like, hey, we don't know that these leakers aren't, like, 14-year-olds or 15-year-olds, 16-year-olds that are just, like... 
I don't know, on 4chan an awful lot, and, and they see stuff. Like, I, we don't know. Because we're, sure. we're, we're not that into that. Do I think Pokemon is coming this year? I've gone from a no to a possibly. Like, there is a lot of smoke around this thing, right? right? The job listings and things like that. Yeah, I, I, to me, it's to a point where it's like, regardless of each specific leak is real or not, there is so much smoke around there that, again, I think we'd be kidding ourselves if we didn't start to take it at least somewhat seriously. I fully expect, regardless of Pixel Par says or not, that Pokemon does launch this year. I think the localization stuff is interesting and very important. I think that's something you can point to. There's a difference to me between saying like, oh my god, Rare is making the new Donkey Kong 6000 and like they just pulled out of nowhere versus saying like, hey, there's job listings for localization and we have extra information that confirms that this localization is for Pokemon Switch, which makes like, it's it's much more of a granular leak that has like at least some semblance of verifiable mm-hmm. other info. Yeah. No. There are there were job listings for localization. Yeah, but I, I don't remember they were in February. Maybe you remember that. But we can't verify that someone like already got hired. Like we, we, we can't verify any of that. No, you can't verify, but it's far more palatable than just saying like when we see a leak that says like, oh, um, Rare has two games or oh this is happening later this year. Or, oh, like that all of these Pokemon things line up. And, and they are lining up in such a way that, yes, the people on Twitter or the people on Reddit or 4chan that post like, oh, it's Pokemon Nuclear and this is what's happening. Like, I don't even read those. Well, well hold on. We read them. <laughs> I don't anymore. I completely gloss over all that stuff. But it's when it comes to something that is very specific and very, like, a small piece of a larger puzzle that I'm like, now we're, now we're, now it's interesting. Yeah, I mean, for all we know, Pokemon is being localized, and Pokemon is being prepped for this year. Uh, I mean, we, we've heard before that Nintendo wants to get it out this year. Like, yeah, so so let's do this. In the comment, in the, in the chat, type 2018 or 2019. I just want to get a, a straw poll here, a census, if you will. Okay. 2018 or 2019 for Pokemon. Go. You say 2018. Yeah, 100%. I'll even I'll even type it for Switch Force, the official Switch Force well, position. That's not issue. the official Switch Force position because okay. I, I completely disagree, but whatever. 2018. I don't believe you. In the meantime, while we're waiting for this census to come back, um, we are going to read this donation yeah. from Hades the Pyro. If Pokemon comes this year, what season would it release? Personally, I feel it's either summer or winter, but that's just me. No way, summer. Um, it, it can't happen. It, on it's summer. absolutely. It's. I think it's their November game because all signs point to Smash being September with online, and therefore they need a a 2018 holiday smash hit black friday christmas um everybody is 2018 except a couple tj and hades are 2019 um diamond is 2023 that's a unique can, can, can i say, can I say something can i say something yeah yeah I, I feel like i feel like gabe this is one of those things that like you just don't want what seems to be happening to like be well right. the, the the funny thing is you were very adamant that metroid was this year at some point like you were adamant well, about that i was at Gabe, we can go look at my videos and my other videos, and you will see that my my statement was Metroid or Pokemon will launch in the fall. No, no, before that turned into your statement, because your statement evolved. It did. At first, you when when Metroid got announced, like, we can go look at it. Yes. Like we ha- again, we have videos of this. We can look it up. Okay. You you thought it was a 2018 game, and, and, and whatever. I don't I don't I don't care who's right, who's wrong. It doesn't matter. Uh, what I do want to say is this 2018 thing. How much of that is people just wanting it to be this year? You're trying to just like wish it into existence. Yes, but I don't like. I think if we ask people, it's not a Nintendo game. I can't think of an, an analog right now. But if we ask people, like, "Oh, is The Last of Us Two happening this year?" I think a lot of people would say no. But that's like a very coveted and wanted game. But they've said it's not coming this year, really, right? No, no, they they, they didn't. Like say like hey like it it was like in pretty early stages of development when we announced it. Sure, but but I guess what I'm saying is the the evidence that Pokemon is not this year is that they haven't talked about it, and that could be said about a lot of games. Yeah, no, no, no. The 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 reason I don't think Pokemon is not coming this year is not because they haven't talked about it. I I, I think there's a bunch of games they haven't talked about that will come this year. They haven't talked about Fire Emblem. I think that's this year. Uh, they haven't talked about Pikmin. I think that's this year. I think they're my. My greatest argument is very simple. 
and it has nothing to do with leaks or localization or Twitter or anything. It has to do with Nintendo has a console that is insanely successful, and it will continue to be insanely successful. And these companies always have a prime product for the holiday release. And no one out here thinks that Smash Brothers is being delayed till November or saved till November. So what game are they putting out? We don't know that. And if you say it's not Metroid and it's not Pokemon, I just mentioned me something. I just mentioned two other games. Fire Emblem is not a seller that that you can put before Black Friday and say go sell millions of copies. It is not that kind of franchise. I'm sorry. Okay, does did Nintendo have that every single year for the Wii U? We we can pull we can pull that up. We can, yeah, we can pull yeah, up I, and, and I'm kind of getting tired of this Pokemon thing. Look, right, I, I hope it, I, I hope it happens. Like, I, I mean, the battle of the battle of the the the, the ages is Gabe versus Zach on release dates. The the, the, the thing, the one, the one thing we argue about more here at Switch Force HQ or the most is is release dates. I don't think there's something we argue about more. I can think Besides of our personal things. lives. Oh, yeah. When it comes <laughs> to video games, it's release dates. Yeah, because... Hey. <laughs> I love JJJJ, though. Hang on, I have to get to this. JJJJ says, Gabe is rocking the Seahawks hat due to the upcoming NFL Blitz game. You're a leaker, Gabe. <laughs> I, I announced the game. NFL Blitz on <laughs> Nintendo Switch. Um, look, and again, and I don't want to make this about who's right and who's wrong. Like, that doesn't matter. But sure. there are times where you, like, just, like... You're very optimistic when it comes to dates. Like, if it were up, to, like in your mind, the Switch doesn't come out a year before it came out. Like, no, it was gonna come out six months before it came Rick, out. Okay, five months. All right, whatever. I'm just saying, like, you had you had the the Switch releasing in a in, in a completely different year, not a full calendar year beforehand. But you did. I had it released in November of 2017, 16, and it came out in March of 2017. Okay. At the end of the day, I think things are lining up for Pokemon to release. I hope so. I, I mean. It's just very hard for me to believe random Twitter I, and, and you know Pixel Par, uh, Marcus, Sneaky Leaks, uh, Emily. I, I don't count them as like just like random Twitter users. But I, the thing that bothers me the most is when someone that has like twelve followers and like isn't verified they've had their Twitter account for all of like two months. Like they'll tweet something about Pokemon and like people run with it. Like that's annoying. Those ones are the ones that we're talking about. We discount. Yeah, like, and there's so much ar- ar- around that now. So at this point, like, my stance is like, hey, I hope it comes out this year. We'll see. Like, we don't have to wait that long. Like, We had a, a tease earlier today that ended up being nothing, but it got me super excited. I'll just bring it up because it had me super excited. Um, over on the uh, treehouse. The tree log. Log, log. Year. Whatever you want to call that. Um, they, they talked about uh, Mario Tennis Ace's characters again today. And um, there was a little tidbit that almost got super exciting they were talking about bowser jr and um waluigi and they said waluigi and bowser jr use their extendable arms to strategically block attack or grab wait sorry wrong game and for a hot minute i was like are they teasing waluigi for super smash bros and then i was like oh it's an it's an arms reference yeah but i gotta say waluigi like if you guys haven't seen these screenshots you should check them out um he rocks the tennis gear he does okay um, this question isn't coming from chat. It's coming from me. I have a okay. question, Zach. All right, so Pokemon releases, right? November, whatever. Just just like you say. Mm-hmm. What's their November game for next year? Can't be Smash. Metroid. You think Metroid's not till November of next year? And I, and, and again, you, you want to... seem to really on. like to dump a major property early in the year. They don't... Ha- they, they currently are not taking the Sony release. Okay, all right. But let me say this then. You yeah. you said Fire Emblem doesn't like it's not going to push millions. It's not that type of setter. Neither is Metroid. Fire Emblem sells more than Metroid. So if they can't Prime Four as a sh- a multiplayer shooter does have more ab- ability to move than Fire go, Emblem. Go, go look at the sales, dude. Historically, with, with the franchise, I'm saying on the Switch, a multiplayer shooter has more ability to sit that fill that slot than than Fire Emblem, a, 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 a tactical strategy RPG. Fire Emblem's pretty you, popular. You know this. Fire Emblem's pretty popular, man. I agree with Flipdo though. I still don't understand why there are no arms amiibo. That is. I also agree with the other thing Flipdo says when when he says that anything I say that, like is gonna happen doesn't happen like the anti gabe thing. I agree with you, Flipdo. I'm wrong a lot, and I accept it. So I'm I'm okay. All right, well let's Here, move here's on. Here's my prediction. Let's okay. just I'm just just gonna be freaky here. All right, freaky. Yoshi in August. Mm-hmm. Fire Emblem in September. Okay. With Smash. 
Okay. And then Pokemon in November. So an October game. Okay, or maybe Poke maybe maybe Fire Emblem is October. <laughs> Nintendo dude, I'm a Packers fan. This is just a hat. I almost want to take the hat off, but my hair's so You can you confuse us, Gabe, with your multi allegiance. I don't have allegiance to the Seahawks. I'll take it off, I guess. This my hair is really not nice, but I'll take it off. Whatever. I'm I'm requesting a lamp. Does anyone have a lamp they can donate? Because I don't understand what's wrong with my lighting. <laughs> can I tell them our, our lighting situation? Yeah. Can I be like go into like detail? Zach yeah. has Zach has incredibly expensive lights. His lights yeah. cost hundreds of dollars. Yeah. I have lights that I got for like twenty bucks at Walmart. It's I, so weird. And 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 I don't know. I can't I can't tell you why, but like my lights are just like brighter than his like i i have no so idea weird. and now my hair is like really bothered me but whatever um uh, the announcement by the way was shenmue one and two remastered for ps4 nothing switch related so there you go mm. there y'all go oh no ps4 xbox one and pc no switch worldwide 2018 so that had nothing to do with anything <clears throat> Also, there's a Mega Drive Mini. Cool. So I guess like a Genesis Mini is coming at some point. Ben, I agree with you. Um, oh, there is a there's a Switch announcement. What is it? Sega announces Sega Ages for Nintendo Switch. Um, over 15 titles coming this summer. It's, so it's it a compilation. Has things, it includes Sonic, Fantasy Star, um, oh. Thunder Force, and more. Um, we'll, we'll talk so about that in a second. Be, uh, Hades, though, uh, with a $2 donation, says, uh, Fire Emblem's in August. No, it's later than summer. We know nothing about the game, dude. Mm. I think that's interesting. Uh, and and this, this is a future video, so I don't even really want to spoil it so much. Um, but the more that we get this sort of stuff, the less likely I think virtual console is to happen. The more we get Mega Man collections mm -hmm. and Sega collections and SNK collections. Well, if they can sell you it for $60 at some, like, they're going to sell you it for $60 and, it, and, like, hey, like, take a chance of buying them all at, like, $8. Like, yeah. Nintendo Dude brings up another good point. You guys have to remember that GameStop CEO said that Nintendo Switch have a good year due to unreleased and unannounced titles. Zach didn't care for that. I didn't care for that initially. <laughs> I love Ty. He says, I didn't know Gabe had hair. Wait, yeah. Wait, did, did people think I was bald? Is that a thing? My hair is just so bad. Like, that's seriously the only reason I wear the hats. My hair is really bad. Um, people, I don't like that people thought I was bald. Um, Daisy Ruiz wants to know if we think a new Luigi's Mansion is going to be announced at E3. No. I don't think so at all. I think the, the fact that they're remastering the first one sort of, like, takes that out of the equation. Yeah. Before so, we get to questions here, Gabe, I, I did want you to give us a little, um, little, little thing about masters of anima because i'm eager to know if i should pick that game up uh masters of uh anima is really fun i'm actually turning my switch on now for for a hot second i'm trying to see how much time i played it one second um well i can talk and do this at the same time uh masters of anima is out now on eShop. Zach, do you have a, do you have a price because when you already own it it doesn't like let you look for yeah, a I'll price unfortunately be. but um I was like super pleasantly surprised. I forgot who it was and the last uh, daily direct we did that uh, said hey really like check out masters of anima and I played it not expecting much, but it's a fun little game. The gameplay mechanics are, like, really, really interesting. The voice acting is not the best, but you get to, like, summon these, like, little, like, soldiers that uh, help you do battle and solve, like, very light puzzles. I've only played the first, like, hour or so, so uh, I don't know how much deeper or, or uh, more difficult the puzzles get, but, like... It's 19.99, by the way. Yeah, for 20 bucks, dude, it, it's a really, really good time. I don't know how long it is. I can't, I can't speak to that. Uh, all I can speak to is that... Like it's a really fun little game. Uh, for twenty bucks, I think I think it's a great get. Sweet, I'm I'm thinking about picking it up. Um, and we will be checking out Don't Starve as well. Yes, <laughs> I love that. Uh, Faith says that it looks like you have one of the Inkling hairstyles from Splatoon Two. Somebody had asked to see my Inkling last time too. If you guys still want to see that, I can show it to you now. But yeah, like sir, okay, some people are saying that they don't think I was bald. Um, yeah, no, no. No baldness. All right, let's take some questions. We're going to start with this one from Rico Fly. So get your questions going. It is that part of the show. Rico says, what would be the biggest left field announcement, good or bad, from E3 for you two? So, like, out of left field, it could be, it's a surprise. It could be positive or negative, though. One of, one, one of these, like, long dormant franchises coming back. 
whether it be like F Zero, Kid Icarus, uh, things like that, like something like that that doesn't happen super often. Mm-hmm. So, to me, and it's something we talked about uh, actually in Comment Force, it's going up tomorrow. Is the left field announcement would be the absence of third party announcements, the absence of day and date. If, if like the Hey, it's the moment for third parties to shine, and like, oh, actually not. <laughs> Let's talk about that for a second. I I had this thought that, dude, I don't think that Nintendo's gonna talk that much about third party. I don't think E3 is the, the the place for that. Really, even though, because like I, previously, our thinking had been that some of these games are being saved specifically for them to, you know, spiral out there. E3. Spiral, right? Call of Duty. <laughs> I'm gonna say that I don't think Spiral or Call of Duty. Call of Duty definitely doesn't get announced at E3. I really don't think so, man. Uh, Activision does this thing where they like to come out during the Sony conference now. I mean, they used to come out during the Xbox one. And they do their little presentation, show the the campaign. Well, no one's going to be at the Nintendo presentation because it's pre-recorded. Yeah, no, I I know. So I'm saying, like, Call of Duty has allegiances to Sony. They have partnerships with them as far as DLC exclusivity, things like that. I think that would prevent them from... From An announcement? Yeah. So you don't think we get... I mean, if that if that happened, I think that would be a... Frankly, I don't think dark we're... Dark day. I don't think we're getting Call of Duty on Switch this year. Oh, again, I hope we do with all these things. It's just like there's so like little evidence. Like, Well, the evidence is that the Switch has been growing and that the third-party support, in theory, is just waiting in the wings. And if it does not happen in E3, I think that is a major blow to the user base. You think so, dude? It seems like the user Which base is, is like mindshare wise. The user base is perfectly content with like indies. <laughs> they are. They like to complain online, but they buy these things. Okay, maybe, but their contentment is not the word I use to describe how people feel about indie releases right now. Yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah, it's uh. It's going to be interesting. Like, does oh. Black Ops... Unless... He... Black Ops 4 will come to Switch if it's completely different. It's like, studio making it. Like, if they, like, just, like, hey, Studio X, go make this for us while we work so, on it. So, are you then surmising that the reason that certain games, like... Lego Incredibles, that it's just because they're graphically not impressive? Yeah, they're, they're not, like, realistic, and they're much easier to port over. Yeah. Mr. Roshi says, I would highly recommend trying Dragon Quest Builders. P.S. Pokemon 2018, pushing those 20 million Switches Nintendo plans to sell. That's my thinking as well, Mr. Roshi, about Pokemon. Um, we have tried Dragon Quest Builders. Sadly, we tried the demo, mm-hmm. and then we didn't get review code. So we kind of skipped out on the game. Um, not because we didn't want to play. For me, it was the fact that Builders 2 information got released similar timing. Um, and then we ended up not covering it for the channel, uh, so it's hard to... Just have personal time, personal switch time. I don't have a lot of personal switch time, dude. Yeah. Um, Zach, I, I want to talk about Call of Duty a little bit more. Yeah. There was rumors from certain leakers that, like, hey, it's coming, to, it's going to get announced for Switch. Like, the, the original thought was that it was going to get announced for all, for everything. Then it gets announced right. for everything except Switch. So then people are saying, hey, th- there's this community event. Maybe it gets announced there. I really don't think it right. gets announced there. Uh, may, maybe at E3. Like, it's, it, it, I, I guess it's possible, but then I'm, I'm curious who is making it. Like, 60 FPS is so important to Call of Duty. It's very important. Like, it's going to feel very weird to have a, a Call of Duty game that isn't 60. So... Yeah, that's a, that's a fair point. I mean, I absolutely think if it, if it was to be announced, it's an E3 Nintendo thing. I think... I think, again, this E3 is, like we talked about, very telling. It's like, you know, what is Nintendo's plans on third party? What is their protocol? And, and how do they plan on handling it going forward? And I should find out a lot. And the other reason I say that I don't think we're getting that many third-party announcements during the three, it's not because I don't think they're happening. I just think that you save those for directs. I think for for the big E three presentation, you show what you have in your hand as like Nintendo, like hey, we're gonna show you a bunch of Yoshi, we're gonna show you a bunch of Smash, we're gonna uh, show you Fire Emblem, we're gonna show you Pikmin, and then Pokemon. If that's coming, hopefully show that, even though you've never shown Pokemon at on at E three really. So, yeah, I feel like you focus on that stuff. I, I think you absolutely do focus on that stuff, but I think it's 
they are they know and everyone knows it's insanely important to have third party support so it it has to be a part of that show third third parties will have a significant presence at the nintendo e3 presentation regardless of whether they're call of duty or not because it, you got to fill up the calendar they can't go into e3 and just talk about smash yoshi and pokemon even though those games are massive fire emblem whatever pikmin I mean, if, yeah, if they're going to load up the rest of the calendar year with, like, six Nintendo titles, okay. But I absolutely think I absolutely think there's, like, mentions of, like, Madden and and something from Ubisoft and all of that sort of thing. Yeah, uh, Tragic uh, Toe says, uh, thank you for the $2 tip. and says, I highly disagree with Gabe on Indies. I know people seem to be angry at them, but they support them. Like, th- and, th- and that's my thing. Like, people are very vocal about the Indies on Switch, but so many of them are so good. And they do so well. So I don't, I guess mind share, like it depends on how much Nintendo wants to play into that, but business wise, they're doing great. Like these things are selling amazing on switch. Yes. And, and no. Okay. It, like it, it will never replace like, uh, a, a 5 million selling triple a retail game. What what triple A retail game is selling five million units on on Switch? All, much of the Nintendo stuff. Tri- I said triple uh, uh triple A third party. Like you did not say third party. Oh, I'm, yeah, I meant like, to say I meant to say third party. I'm sorry. Regardless, like okay, Cameco selling two hundred thousand is a great feel good story, but that selling two hundred thousand at five dollars is nothing compared to like oh man coming out and pushing a million copies at sixty. Did FIFA sell a million copies on Switch? No, I don't think so. Did did Skyrim sell a million copies on Switch? And we know that that sold well. They were happy with yeah, that. We, there's, we don't have specific numbers on that. How much did 2K... Like, again, we don't have numbers. But, like, 2K, like... None of these... I, the point I'm making is that, yes, the indies are good, but I think it's... Nintendo knows and... and these... Every, like, it's just known that that can't replace your, your $60 retail games. At, at, a, at a certain point, also, like... It's not... It, Nintendo can't force these companies to make these games. If, if if these companies don't think like it's a viable like platform, like they're not going to do it. If, if Activision, but why are they? Why all of a sudden are they not thinking it's viable? This thing is selling like crazy. Yeah, but audiences, right? If if Activision thinks like, hey, the people that want to play Call of Duty are playing them on PlayStation Four and Xbox One, and the amount of people that are going to want to play Call of Duty on Switch isn't going to be big enough to be worth the investment of having a company like port it over. Like that's what I'm thinking. And I'm not saying that it's not, like, worth the investment. I'm just saying, like, that's how a company might think, right? Like, historically, Call of Duty is played on these consoles, right? And, and these, like, big 4K pushes, are, are, it, it's a thing that's happening. Uh, we, we, we have, um, Sony's doing an amazing job with, with uh, first-party stuff right now. Spider-Man, God of War, God of War reviews are, like, off the charts. And uh, the big push they do is, like, hey, PlayStation 4 Pro, uh, 4K, you're going to want to experience it like this. Right, and that's something that third party is also doing. Just uh, this last week, a bunch of older Xbox games got like 4K support. That's what a lot of these like companies are like focusing on. So, having to but go. Why, why all of a sudden do you think that third parties are not going to be on? I... I do think they're going to be on Switch. It's just not day and date. I don't. Unless like, because the only way it happens day and date is if you pay someone like, if you go pay you know company X like. Early on, when you come up, all right. So let's say they decided to start working on Black Ops Four in twenty seventeen, like January of twenty seventeen, whatever. Probably before that, but whatever. You have to get like a panic button, not panic button specifically. You have to get them on board right away and be like, "Hey, we're gonna build this thing, and you're gonna build it right alongside us." Because, but but it benefits the publisher directly. It's not like it just benefits Nintendo. I don't think this is a, situ- a situation of desperation where Nintendo has to go and say, like, here's no. a bag of money. Please put your game on our platform. Ha- like, I, we need to know more about the financials then. Like, how much, is it, how much is it costing? How much would it cost to pour it over Black Ops so that it comes out day and date? And is that worth it? Like, do you sell enough copies on Switch for that investment to be worth it? And nobody's really taking that risk. I guess Dark Souls kind of comes close, even though it's a port. I don't know. I just... I, I think... I you know yeah it would be dramatically sad but I think absolutely third parties come out in a big way on on Switch and I I think that's what we've been 
waiting for, kind of, at E3. So now we're not getting Pokemon and we're not getting third parties. No, Switch we'll, we'll, 2018 is Indies and Yoshi. No, we'll, we'll, we'll get third parties and we're getting Smash. I do think we get Pikmin and, and Fire. Like, there's a lot. You, you, you're diminishing things. But I'll say this. This is unpopular. I don't think it's as important for Call of Duty to come out day on day on Switch that, that, than you do. I think you think it's way more Call important. Call specifically, no. But I, I and, think that... Anything along those lines. Like certain things, yeah. Like Dark Souls is coming out day on day. That's great. Um, Lego coming out day and date. That's great. Certain games are going to come out day and date. Others just aren't. I mean, I think we're going to get a lot of D3 third party. I hope but, so. Hey, 60 days. Um, let's see. Let's take another question from... Well, of course, everyone asking about when Fortnite's coming. We don't know. Soon. Tomorrow. Sometime. Eventually. Hopefully soon. Um... Uh, Griffin wants to know what sports games would you like to see on Switch? I think Madden is our the one. Madden, Madden is it? Football Manager got surprise drop today. Yeah. <laughs> no. Um, they, you know we're gonna get two K again. <laughs> Are we? Ninety five percent. Um. And I assume FIFA, but can't wait to get that NBA live action. I don't think that happens. Um, <laughs> yeah. I, I think Madden is the one, and I, I think that makes sense. Mm -hmm. I agree. Um, Evolution has an interesting comment saying Pikmin will definitely arrive before Animal Crossing. I would I would hedge on that side of the bet. I think so. Flip do we're starting to think that Virtual Console might never exist, buddy. Uh, Flip do uh, for anyone that didn't see the comment, says, Do you think Virtual Console will only be GameCube and Wii games? I sure do. It's pretty weird uh, titles like Kirby's uh, Air Ride, Strikers, Luigi's Mansion, Sunshine. Yeah. Uh, haven't come yet. I don't think we're getting any virtual. <laughs> I mean, we'll we'll get older games um, with the online stuff, but beyond that, I don't I don't know how much we get. And again, again it's a topic for another video. But yeah, I mean, I think we, uh, you know, we're gonna get something in the form of that like games subscription thing tied to online. But yeah, I don't I don't know if. Um... You have virtual console. We were talking about that earlier today. Like, does virtual console, as we know it, just kind of fade into the background at this point? It seems like it has fallen off. Like for a while, that was the most discussed thing and the most anticipated thing, and it, it feels like it's just kind of like fallen a little because it there's like if if you're worried about oh are these Pokemon rumblings enough to make the game come out? There are no virtual console rumblings, <laughs> none, nada. Um. Yum Yum says, is Pikmin even big enough to release as a holiday game? I guess that's like a hard thing for us to know, and it ultimately kind of comes down to Nintendo. Like we were talking earlier, like I don't think Fire Emblem is a holiday game, but it could be. You know, For all we know, Yoshi is coming out in October or November. <laughs> you know, it, it just sort of depends on how they want to structure and place things. The Switch is great, right? But we got to stop acting like Nintendo has never, like they, like, they don't have a history of disappointing people. They do. Yeah. And, like, that's my only thing. I just like mentally preparing for those things. Like... Yeah, I just don't like being disappointed. If Nintendo can release Xenoblade as a holiday game, then they can release anything as a holiday game. G good point, uh, Gazesha Fox. Good point. And they, that sold well. Yeah. I mean, they're, they're open to using that full calendar, and, you know, they made sure in their recent direct to load everything up into, you know, the the pre-holiday months, so we have nothing for holidays, so E3 tells all, and um, I think it's got to tell a lot. GU, King of Hearts, has new patent. <laughs> it's it's the rubbing thing. Did you see that? Mm -mm. All right, just just look up the, the, the new patent. Uh, I don't know. Maybe check right it while it's I talk. It's a switch patent? Yeah, it's a switch patent for, like, rubbing things. It's it's weird. Uh, it, it just happened. Rubbing. Like, yeah. Patents are tricky because they don't always mean anything. Like, like they don't always mean something. Like yeah, and we uh, in the past we've reported on them, um, at a pretty steady pace. But this one just seems weird. Yeah, touching two more screens, two or more screens together, that mm -hmm. and information can be relayed between them. Mm -hmm. Finger dragging between two different screens, and the system doesn't lose track of it. So basically, like two, in theory, this would be two switches being able to like 
share game data, like share a single game. I don't know. Yeah, at the, at the end of the day, like you said, Gabe, it's like we don't know what these things mean, and half the time they don't even ever come to any sort of fruition. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Uh, thoughts on Mario Galaxy 3? <laughs> this is the thoughts I have on Mario Galaxy. Like, I don't think it's something that happens. No. Nintendo, like, Mario Galaxy 2 was kind of a rarity, right? Like, the, yeah. Of, of doing a direct sequel, that's kind of not something that happens. Um... Nintendo Dude has a lot of good comments tonight saying, do you think we'll get a new 2D Mario this year or next year? I think we absolutely do, but I think it's absolutely next year. I don't know. I mean, I don't know. That's kind of crazy. There right now is like this entire, I feel like, a bingo ball full of games. Pikmin, Animal Crossing, Pokemon, 2D Mario, Fire Emblem. And it's like, what are they going to draw out of that, that lotto for E3? You know, like there's there's quite uh I feel like there's a lot of titles that are possible slash likely to, to come out and it's just like which ones do they decide to roll for twenty eighteen. Would you want would you want a new two D Mario or would you want like a new Mario Maker? I don't really care personally that much for the two D Mario, so I would always pick the other option. Yeah, I would yeah, I think Mario Maker would I hope Mario Maker replaces two D Mario. <laughs> I would take a Mario Party over both. I mean, we're, that's coming at some point. We, we keep, uh, that's another one. Like, that could be rolled for 2018. We don't know. We keep getting asked about Naruto. Do you have anything to say about Naruto? You like Naruto-ish stuff? There were a lot of episodes. We were, I was driving home from Florida with Jake, formerly of Switch Force. And <laughs> formerly of my telling, life. <laughs> he was telling me about how, like, that show gets so crazy by the end. And I was watching some clips, and I was like, holy gosh. Like, when I, when I watched it, when I was, like, a freshman in high school... It was very like last year. No, it's very <laughs> simple. Um, it's crazy, Gabe. Uh, fresh when I was a freshman in high school, that was fourteen years ago. How crazy is that? How God. crazy is that? I am literally double my freshman year age. So am I. We're the exact same age. What the heck is happening? <laughs> Time is passing. It's crazy. Um, no, but. I don't know much. I hope they perform well and, and you know run well. I think it's a cool, uh, cool thing to bring to Switch. Everyone wants to know about Fortnite. I I think Gabe and I both have and and do and will think that Fortnite is an E3 announcement for Switch, and it probably connects to their online service in September. I've, to me, that's the only explanation for why it's not out right now. Is that online service? Maybe. I mean, I don't. I don't know. Having a free Fortnite and a free online seems a little weird. Does it? Mm, yeah. Hmm. Uh, Mr. Roshi wants to know how old we are. We're both 28. Yeah, we are old. And, and believe it or not, you can't friends. tell this just by looking at it. Zach is actually older than me by months. Zach is yeah, the older how, one out of us. How weird is that? Yeah. How weird the heck is that? You would look older if you grew a beard, but you can't grow a beard. I cannot do a full thing like you've got going on. Yeah. Also, you don't have white hair. I have a ton. You can't tell, but I have a ton of white hair. Is that normal for twenty eight? Like, when do you when when should gray hair start being a thing? Depends on the on the levels of stress in your life. <laughs> yeah. I lived a very stressful life. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's okay. Man, uh, no third party games at E three. No Pokemon, Gabe. No wonder you're stressed all the time. You think all this bad stuff's gonna happen? It's not bad. Switch. It's not bad. Um, <laughs> Groovin says, "Dang, I'm 23 and I kind of look older than you guys. All bad." <laughs> <laughs> See, but yeah, Zach. Zach lives this like incredibly like positive and like healthy like lifestyle, right? He eats bananas and apples all day every day. I eat pretzel junk. Sticks. I eat junk. Gluten free pretzel sticks. Yeah, like so he has a reason why he looks younger than I do. I I kill myself with what I ingest. I mean, I looked young even though bef even before I started eating healthy. I think I just have like baby genes. But yeah, it does help. Ugh. Honestly, your entire family looks young. 
Like yeah, know. for your mother's age, like we, we won't say it, but for your mother's age, she does not look. Her age. She's 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 fifty four. Yeah, your almost fifty four. Your mom does not look fifty four. No, I mean Noah, my youngest brother, does not look almost seventeen. Yeah, he looks like a child. Jake doesn't look twenty four. Your your dad also doesn't look his age. Like you guys all just look really young. My dad is yeah. He's turning. He's hey, yeah. Right up there at sixty, he does not look like a sixty year old man. <laughs> no, your dad still plays basketball with us. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and in today's Daily Direct, where we talk about the ages of my family, yeah. um, Mr. Roshi says, I strive to be Zach every day. Thanks. Um, that's, that's appreciated. <laughs> um, Rat, Radbone says, what about Spyro Switch? I absolutely think that – I think that happens 100%. Here's a very important um, question for Zach. <laughs> how often do I work out from Hades Never. Spyro? Never. Never. I need to. I got, I got new reasons to. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta live long, Zach. <laughs> oh man, um, that's the problem with things doing things live. Sometimes I can't stop laughing. Vanish X wants to know our thoughts on Mario Kart Nine. I mean, I think eventually we get a Mario Kart Nine. I don't think it's anywhere near happening. I think it's something that comes much closer towards the end of this mm -hmm. this this little little console cycle called Switch. Lajan Ninety has a really good point, and uh, I'm on to you, Zach. He says he needs to keep his body in shape so he can stay ahead in tennis, Gabe. Zach, mm -hmm. is that what you're trying to do? That's absolutely true. Been waiting for this tennis aces moment. Um, I like this question too from Gammy Digus Defoe. What color are your current? What's your current Joy-Con setup? Classic blue and red. Um, my Switch is not in this room, but I am pink and yellow. Yeah, I mean, but this is what I play with mostly. And Zach, I need a new Joy-Con, man. I'm gonna go steal some of your Joy-Con next time I'm there. Where are the new Joy-Con? That's the, the video I want to make. Stop. Stop giving away the week Where slate. is the where are the Joy-Con? I'll make a a Joy-Con rant. Uh Ty Ty Semkin sack was dead inside. He now is alive. He's very much alive. Uh Pokemon Trainer says I could play arms for a workout. That that is that game is kind of a workout. If you play with motion, unfortunately none of us play with motion. Yeah. Um Carlos wants to know what we think a good title for Smash Bros on Switch is. Super Smash Bros. Switch. Yeah, sure. Zach thinks it's a port, so. What do they call it? Super Smash Bros. Port. <laughs> That'd be funny. Super Smash Bros. Redux. Yeah. Super Smash Bros. Remix. No. I mean, yeah, where are the GameCube Joy-Con, Mateus? I mean, there was a rumor. No, I think he's, talk I think he's talking about yours. Like, they're in the other room. Oh, I think he's talking about, like, Nintendo making them. Oh, I thought he was talking about the custom ones. Okay. No, but there is a rumor that... They're going to do something similar to that for Smash. I mean... Yeah. Um, huh. PK Fire says, what do you guys think happened to Mario Kart 2? Are they announced it and have never talked about it since? That's true. I think that's something that gets discussed. At, you think that gets discussed at E3? You know, you don't think a Mario Kart mobile game is like a USA Today touchstone? Mm -mm. I think they'll do like a direct specifically for it or something like that. They like doing that. Yeah, that's kind of in the plan for mobile. Um, I don't know when it's targeting. I would expect them to have some holiday mobile title or some fall mobile game. Yeah, probably that. That'd be good. I don't know. It could be cool. Yeah. Um, a lot of people are saying some different titles here. Uh, Smash Bros. 5, Super Smash Bros. Universe, Smash Bros. Assault. <clears throat> Smash Bros. Wii U for Switch. <laughs> Super that, Smash Bros. That, that'd X, be funny. Super Smash Bros. Inferno. Uh, any other questions that, that, that you find uh, interesting here? We, we have time yeah, for a few more. more. Before we wrap this thing up. You got any last minute questions? Get them in. Um, there's a lot of questions that I'm either having deja vu or are from Tuesday. <laughs> um, uh, Christian wants to know where we live. I live in Texas. Zach lives. I don't know if he cares to share that. I live in Texas. I live in Indiana. That's, that's a known thing. Mm -hmm. Um... Hey, does we heart you? And he says, do you think Joy-Con ever becomes anything other than a weird controller? What do you mean? What, what, that's an interesting question. What, what does that mean? Um, I'm going to pick this one up because it's something I wanted to talk about. I was just out of the office. Michael Ingalls says, thoughts on the Pokemon theme park rumors, rumors at Universal Studios Orlando. So to fill you in on this, um, basically there's a rumor that Nintendo World has been delayed at Universal Studios Orlando until 2023 because it's becoming a se an entirely separate park and they're adding a Pokemon land either before or at the same time. I've never been to a theme park in my life. I don't. You're going to go to this one. Am I? 
Nintendo World, Gabe? What, would I have fun at a theme park? You know me. Would I? I think it would be a very unique experience for you. I think you would be... I think you would see me being like overjoyed and excited on the rides and you would be like, I, I, that didn't do anything for me. But I think you would get a kick just out of the entire like experience. Yeah, I guess. Uh, do you want to touch on what Hades asked though about the Joy-Con? No, I want to touch more on this. I think that it's fine if it gets delayed. If it's opening a separate theme park, Universal Studios, for for whatever you think of the the the, the franchise or the brand or whatever, they did a great job with Harry Potter. If they dedicate a full park to Nintendo and we get a Mario Kart section and a Mario section and a DK section, and a Zelda, that is going to be amazing. I don't think that their rides are as good as Disney rides. I will never like Universal in the way that I like Disney World. But they did do a great job like realizing the property of Harry Potter in a physical space. And I think if they, you know, you know, in, in concert with Miyamoto and Nintendo, they can do amazing things. I'm super pumped for it. Pokemon Land it makes a lot of sense. It makes a lot of monetary success, um, especially if they are looking to delay that into a bigger ordeal. Maybe they can slide Pokemon. The rumor is that it was going to be in Kid Zone, um, which is an already existing section of Universal Studios, so maybe they can slide that there. All I know is if it's if it opens in Japan first, I'm going. Help, help me here. How fast do these rides go? I mean, some go incredibly slow. Like, two three miles an hour oh no. like if it's like a, just a go through like look ride if it's like a roller coaster yeah you know you're going you know 40 50 60 miles an hour but i have been on roller coasters i, I don't find them scary yeah but okay, i, so I but, hades... but i've been on, on roller coasters that are like a local like uh um, yeah maybe, yeah what was hades thing about did we get clarification there well he oh, just, here we go he just did this Joy-Con, thank you, Hades. Joy-Con of the tiny... Okay, so he's saying, like, different... Like, will the Joy-Con ever change their functionality or their form versus just color? Joy-Con with a tiny screen on it? Where on this thing are you going to fit? Here? Yeah. Hey, it's the return of... Um, what are those things called? VMUs from, from the Dreamcast? Do you know how small this thing is? Uh, Zach, another thing is I realized I don't have big hands. I thought I had big hands. I had small hands for, for, for a guy. This tiny thing? Nah. VMUs, baby. I don't, I don't see it, Hades. I think Joy-Con are what Joy-Con are. Um, I, I, the only thing I'll say is that at one point they did mention that they were looking for different ways to control the switch. Now you could read that to be, that's what Labo is. And that's what this venture capitalist initiative is where they're trying to start up new ways to interact with the switch. Or you could read it that the Joy-Con do different things. Again, you have to think, I think about how that splits the base and what that does for requirements. You can never require it. So it can't be that intense. At that point, it just becomes, what, a, a preference? And I don't know that it's worth having a wholly separate mold and manufacturing and everything just for a preference. So I'm going to say no, Hades. I yeah. think the Joy-Con are the Joy-Con till the end of the console cycle. And even even with, with Smash, I don't think that they do like, oh, now it has GameCube parts because they, they don't want to devalue what the Joy-Con are and they want those to be used for 99% of the games. Yeah, and I'm not a Kyojo. I get excited. Like I do get excited. It's just like my excitement's like different. Like for 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 better or worse. And some people like this about me. Some people hate this about me. I'm not the type of. And I hate that I even call myself this, right? But you know, we're YouTubers. I don't think Zach or, or I like either of us is the kind that's gonna like do like all these like fake reactions. And we're not gonna like pretend to get like scared at like a game. Like I, I streamed Outlast for you guys and. Yeah, I'm not pretending to to be scared. I'm not doing any of that fake stuff. And again, that that's for better or for worse. Uh, I think some some people like that. Um, some people don't. So, I, I get excited hopefully, about. Hopefully, it. hopefully, this E three can turn Gabe around. No, Zach, Zach can see me excited. It's just my excitement. Your cat. My excitement's different. It, it, You're excited for Celeste. Yeah, that's right. the last time I've seen you excited, genuinely excited about a game. No, it's not too. There's one more. There's a big example. I've been Recent. playing it. Uh, yeah, I've been playing another game. Oh, Splatoon too. Yeah, Gabe loves Splatoon too. Yeah, and Gabe that's a, a real happy man when he plays Splatoon. That's a that's a new thing. Yeah. Um, Mikey, why stream a game if you don't enjoy it? Sometimes it's about just sharing the experience. Yeah. It's about just bringing the content. You know, if we only did the games we love, you guys <laughs> would see the amount of content chopped in half. And, and sometimes it's 
Sometimes it's about like, how does it perform? How does it play? How does it feel? How does it fit? Mm -hmm. What do other people think? You know, there, there's a, there's more than just, oh God, we're only gonna play our favorite games, especially on this type of channel. Yeah, Volution, Volution stated it perfectly. Like, it's inward excitement. I feel it. It's just... I'm the outward excitement guy. Gabe the Realist, Gabe Mixtape Drops 2018. Yeah, hell yeah, I'm working on it. All right, we're going to wrap this show up um, with a, the sentiment that, yes, Labo releases this week. That's crazy that we're already at that point. I remember when Labo got announced, it was like, oh, it's months off. I need to go buy a lighter fluid. No, nope, you don't. <laughs> I keep dropping hints at it. <laughs> it's not even a hint, Gabe. They know what you're talking about. They Stop. Do, no, they don't know directly what I'm talking about. <laughs> but we're going to wrap the Tom Green's uh, thought. Best $20 you can spend on the Switch right now. Celeste. I want to wrap with uh, Master Smash uh, Sound of Oz uh, question. Uh, Celeste is probably the pick. You could argue that grabbing like Enter the Gungeon and Astro Bears is like a pretty good seventeen dollars, or like Enter the Gungeon and mm, yeah, we'll just say Celeste. Celeste, oh, if they're on sale, get, if you could get Gungeon and Seamal Dig too for ten and ten. I'm sorry, I still say get Celeste. Like, so, so, Celeste, like, made me think. <laughs> like, that, that's a game that, like, makes you feel things. And, you know, you'll, you'll feel, like, joy and, and, and all other types of things that regular, like, games make you feel when you play uh, Gungeon or... What's the other one you mentioned? SteamWorld? Mm -hmm. But Celeste is going to make you, like, look inside yourself. And Ryan maybe even come to terms it. with yourself. That's a, it's a, seriously, Celeste is an amazing experience. It is. It absolutely is. Brian throws a mention for Overcooked, which if you do have a significant other or just a good friend or a sibling, um, that is definitely one to to, 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 to try it out. No. Um, all right, then. You're welcome, Tom Green. Um, we have never played Just Shapes and Beats. Mm -mm. Um, it's not my out, is it? My f yeah, I think it is. Isn't it? Mm -mm. No? Mm-mm. Was that pass? Oh, I'm I'm thinking of Super Beat Sports. That's yeah. what I'm thinking of. Yeah. Um, my favorite sandwich is a um, Mary's chicken and prosciutto sandwich on pretzel bread without the prosciutto and with extra chicken from um, Mendocino Farms in Cal Southern California. I have two answers. Yeah. One, there's this uh, local Vietnamese place called uh, Snowbite where I go get these like Vietnamese uh, pork sandwiches. They have pork and cucumbers and like other stuff that i don't really know what it is the mm -hmm. other best time which i've ever had zach was with you uh we were in the streets of what i believe was san francisco i don't we, we went to this like place it, it was it was owned by this like one guy like with an accent he had an accent you remember this we went and had like sandwiches like uh, yeah yeah the french place the french yeah restaurant. that that was an amazing sandwich that was, it was yeah very, very good the bread was very hard to bite into but not because it was like bad it was just like very frenchy mm -hmm. um all right guys and girls thanks so much for being here that is another deray it's a, direct. it's a deraved. What's this? A der der deranged direct. I know that's Friday the Thirteenth. Things are going getting spooky. I do, I do feel a little like lightheaded slightly, and I think it's because of the the day. So it's not because it's not because of lack of food, guys. He's been yeah. eating all day. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna wrap this up. Thank you so much for being here. We'll see you this weekend. Tomorrow's comment for us anyway. Uh, as always, <laughs> Labo is this later next week. <laughs> Later we'll be today. back with another Daily Direct sometime soon. Until then, though, everybody, thanks so much for watching. You have a fantastic rest of your night. Have a great weekend. We'll see you on the videos. And uh, until that time, we love you. Myself and Gabe. Switch Force out.